Okay, welcome back. We are cooking with Dave once again, making this uh, turkey bird and uh, ready for your Christmas, Festivus, Crimbus, Solstice celebrations. Uh, we will show you how to prepare the bird, uh, take out any uh, insides that need to be taken out, and uh, throw it in the oven. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first part is a little bit controversial. There's two different schools of thought here. Do I wash my hands before I touch the bird? Do I not wash my hands? Is it important or not? Well, they say that cleanliness is next to godliness, but since we don't believe in that anyway, uh, then that kind of throws the whole cleanliness thing out the, out the picture, doesn't it? So we are not going to confirm nor deny washing our hands. Um, that way, Take it, uh, take it as you wish. Uh, for those who do, pretend I did. But those I don't, uh, don't want to wash hands, then uh, just pretend I don't. Um, so, first step out of the way. Let's get to cooking. Now, you'll want to take out any of the extra stuff and uh, pieces, and uh, sometimes little promotional items that the store sticks in here. Uh, of course, this is the. I don't know if this is a uh, turkey uh, wangus or if this is an extra leg in case you lose one. It looks about like an extra leg maybe. Or it could be, uh, I don't know, a snake. We'll get that out of here. It's gross. Uh, also, make sure to take out any uh, eggs that may have been inside the bird when it was cooked or whatever the hell. Make sure to take out any extra eggs in there. You know? Make sure no one else is home. and Set these aside for later or... Not. Now the next step is of course lubing the turkey. Um, so some people ask, Dave, do I use vegetable oil, oil canola oil, uh, what do I put on here, some olive oil? Well we say it is the 21st century so why not go synthetic, uh, full synthetic by the way. So we are not sponsored by Royal Purple but this has been a staple in our house for a few uh, holiday seasons now. 5W20 um, has the taste that we want, but also the viscosity, and it helps the bird to uh, limber up in the oven, and it gives it a nice good sheen when you're done with it. So pick the one you want. Um, olive oil is probably going to have a low uh, flash point, but we find that royal purple, or really anything full synthetic, come on, we're living in 2022 now, people, go full synthetic or uh, get the hell out of here, right? So we'll go ahead and lube up the turkey. Okay, now that we lube this sucker up, you can see a real good sheen on that thing. And of course, since we went full synthetic, uh, this turkey is good for at least mm, 7,000 to 10,000 miles before it needs another change. Uh, that's one of the benefits. Now, one of the things that uh, people have said is like, hey, that's a uh, little turkey, man. Uh, how big is that turkey? And the turkey is almost 12 pounds. It's not the hugest bird. And uh, some folks in the comment section would say, hey, I've taken dumps bigger than that, man. But, uh, well, what we say is good for you, but uh, it's not a contest, right? We're just learning here, so, uh, so take it easy. And again, just look at the viscosity on this sucker. Look at that. Look at that movement. Look at that. No friction at all on that. That is some good synthetic oil right there. Okay, we skipped ahead just a bit to the uh, seasoning part. Um, you can really season your turkey with uh, whatever you like. Um, cinnamon. Um, I don't know, baby powder, uh, your favorite, uh, your favorite Axe body spray, whatever. We don't give a shit. We're not eating it. Uh, in this case, we're going a little bit uh, unorthodox and we're using some, uh, finely ground, um, CT crunch, cinnamon toast crunch. Going to give it a nice browning, um, uh, and it also come out a little bit of sweet and, uh, smell like breakfast. So smell real good in here once it's in the oven. Uh, so here we go. We, uh, rubbed it in. Well, we didn't rub it in yet, but... Here's the way you're gonna rub it in, rub it in, and be soft or whatever you wanna do, however you wanna do it. There's really no wrong way to rub your turkey. So I'm gonna rub it in there. Smells like cinnamon, toast crunch in here. Uh-huh, get all in the nooks and crannies. I'm gonna really get up right into the crawl, right into the crevices, and there you go. We'll flip it over in a second, and we'll uh, get the other side of it. But here you go. Just be gentle. You'll say, hey, Dave, should I uh, slap my turkey around? No, not really. It doesn't really impact the uh, taste or flavor. If it makes you feel good, uh, then I guess so. Just uh, don't do it in front of anybody else. That's what I say. We don't want to see that shit. I just have to let you know your
tension for some folks is, what do I put inside the bird? What are we going to put in there? Uh, I'm going to put some bread, you know, put some stove top or, uh, I don't know, a soda can, baseball. Um, I don't like to put anything up in the turkey. It's already going in a hot ass oven anyway. And uh, do you want to go to hell with something jammed up your ass? No. So I leave mine empty. You feel free to stick anything you want up in there. We use Reynolds kitchen bags because they are thick enough to not let anything through, uh, but also thin enough so you don't lose any sensation. Now, the instructions say to put some flour in there. Uh, we will get our tablespoon of flour. If you don't have flour, I guess you can use anything uh, white. I don't know. And, uh, Again, some talcum powder, probably make it smell great. Uh, cocaine will probably be expensive, you don't wanna do that. But uh, we're just using some flour today. Okay, now we've got our turkey in a bag, uh, looking like maybe an outtake from the show Dexter. Uh, and some people say, do you do the turkey face down? Do you do it on its back, the breastbone up? What the hell? Uh, well, there is a saying among uh, chefs out there not specific to turkeys, but the saying is face down, ass up. That's the way we like our duck. So we aren't really making a Christmas duck here, but we can also apply that same sentiment to our turkey. Uh, so we're going face down, ass up, and not just because that's the way we like our duck, but also we figure we'll cook this turkey ass up so the, uh, the whole world can kiss his ass. Alrighty, now we got our turkey all uh, primed, all lubed up, seasoned, flipped face down, ass up. And now he's in our fancy roasting pan. We are ready to put him in the oven and send this fucker to hell. Okay, we got ourselves set for 325. We'll come back in three hours and uh, see what the fuck's going on. Okay, so it's been three hours. Time to check that bird. Cock-a-doodle-doo, motherfuckers. All right, look at that. Nice and golden. That's what we call in the industry a brick shithouse. Let's check that goose. Okay, so we've taken the bird out of the oven, undone the bag, and uh, we use our little temperature here to check. And some people say cook it to 165, 170. Uh, we always go at least to 187. Because that means dead. Uh, if you didn't know, that's where it comes from. 187 uh, is a cooking term. Uh, it means your shit is done and your bird is dead. Uh, your cow is dead. Uh, 187, motherfuckers. All right, next step. All right, and the final step is, of course, taking a look inside, cutting it. Make sure it's nice and good. Look at that crispy critter. Mmm, look at them little leggies. Yummy. All right, time to eat. And from Cooking with Dave, this is Dave wishing everybody Merry Christmas, Merry Festivus, Crimbus, and Happy Trails, and Happy Smells.